Hello and welcome to our video detailing a plan for a proposed curriculum audit. My name is Rex Mangiracina. I am currently a university supervisor working in UNC Charlotte's Cato College of Education. My background is with middle and secondary social studies. Hello, my name is Erica Moody. I am currently a university supervisor working in UNC Charlotte's Cato College of Education. My background is with elementary education. Hello, my name is Amy Miller. I am currently a third grade teacher also serving as the lower school math committee chair at Charlotte Country Day School. The goal of this curriculum audit is to ensure that Charlotte Country Day School provides a rigorous and relevant curriculum that supports our students with the knowledge and skills needed to be successful. Currently, there is an unwritten expectation that curriculum leaders assume the responsibilities of evaluating curriculum practices, but there is little uniformity from one content area to another. This audit will equip curriculum leaders with a clear and consistent process to evaluate current practice and implement solutions. Year one in the program is characterized by the following. A review of current curriculum documentation and practice across all levels of the school from junior kindergarten through 12th grade. A concerted effort to provide faculty with an increased knowledge base and practical toolbox of best practices via assigned readings, professional development opportunities, and potential school visits. The collection and organization of student performance data a collaborative effort to arrive at agreed-upon standards or learning outcomes for each respective grade level and or content area. Year two in the program is characterized by the following. The analysis of existing curriculum practices against alternative options. The development of a philosophical statement related to the school's goal for that content area. This then serves as a guidepost or focus tool throughout the process. Continued efforts with assigned readings, professional development opportunities, and school visits. Near the end of year two, plans are made to begin the changes and or updates as necessary for that content area set to begin the following school year. Year three in the program is characterized by the following. The implementation of any changes and or updates strategic professional development to support faculty, including the opportunity to work with instructional coaches and attend training seminars and conferences specific to demonstrated needs, providing the faculty and or content area committees the time and opportunity to effectively plan and reflect upon new teaching practices and needs. Year four in the program is characterized by the following, ongoing implementation, data collection, and analysis. The invitation to outside experts to visit the school, observe teaching, evaluate data, and provide feedback. At the end of year four, the curriculum audit cycle will refresh and begin again with the intent to continuously improve upon instruction at Charlotte Country Day School. Holistic benefits of the program include increased focus on instruction and best practices across the school, provides for ample teacher leadership and professional development opportunities, fosters a more collaborative and inclusive professional working environment, and serves as an ongoing positive example of consistent improvement efforts within a school community. Holistic challenges of the program include available time for classroom teachers, meaningful involvement and participation, financial resources, initial faculty buy-in to the process, unknowns involved in the implementation of any broad spectrum program. In utilizing this format, Charlotte Country Day School will have a systematic plan that supports the school's mission of providing excellence in education to all students.